Hi everybody. Welcome to my live. Thank you for tuning in. Kind of random on a Saturday. I usually go live on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Um, last week I went live at 7 p.m. But I had gotten new internet service that week and I had upgraded to a fiber service. And there was a little bit of a problem and I got dropped in the middle so I wasn't able to record it. So no one was able to watch it on the replay or on YouTube. So that's why I'm coming on today. I think as of yesterday, everything's all fixed. We installed a new extender, so I think it's gonna be good. Um, so we'll see, fingers crossed. I'm a little bit nervous because that's the first time that I've ever been dropped during a live. So um, today will be a test and hopefully it'll pass. So thank you if you're watching live, if you're watching um, on uh, my Facebook business page, I also post and I also post to YouTube. So thank you for tuning in. I think we'll go ahead and get started right away. I've got a really fun class um, for you, and I wanted to kind of stay on schedule and get this class in because I've got another fun class on Tuesday coming up, and then after that, I've got a pretty good Christmas schedule going all the way up until the end of the year to show you a lot of Christmas cards. So I kind of wanted to stay on schedule and not skip a class. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my camera down, and I see that I'm up on Facebook Live on my iPad, so let's get started. All right, let me see if I can get this in a good spot. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so before we get started on the class, I wanna tell you about a card class kit that I'm offering right now. And this is, it's called the Merriest Moments Card Class Kit. And I'm offering it in advance so you can craft along with me on one of my lives. This one is going to be posted on November 29th. And this is a really fun class. Let me show you the cards that are going to be in it. So I'm making it with the Merriest Moments class, um, the bundle from Stampin' Up. And it's very glittery, very sparkly, um, a lot of gold in it. And so I have four cards that we're gonna craft that day on the live. And you can order these products in advance so you can craft along with me that day. So let me tell you what it includes. The kit includes pre-cut cardstock to make all four of these beautiful, festive, sparkly cards. <coughs> Excuse me. I know they're a little bit over the top, but I like a lot of bling, if y'all know me. And it also is going to include $25 worth of Stampin' Up! products. It'll also include the project sheet, and of course, you'll have the link to the live. So um, what it's going to include is half a pack of this beautiful Christmas paper right here. And this is called Painted Christmas. And it's got a little lot of really fun Christmas patterns. So you'll get half a pack of that. You'll get a full bolt of this beautiful gold ribbon that I always talk about. You'll get a full pack of the iridescent basic jewels in your kit. And you'll also get a couple sheets of this beautiful glitter paper they're offering this year in the red and the white. And you'll use this to make a couple of the cards. So the price for this is $32 plus it's $8 for shipping. I wish shipping wasn't as so expensive, but it is what it is, right? So the total price is $40. Um, the deadline on this is going to be November 2nd, so that's coming up on Wednesday, and then I will ship the kits on the 16th of November, so you'll have them in time for the 29th. I have a limited amount of kits that I'm going to cut, um, so if you want one, give, send me um, an email, and I'll, happy to, I'll be happy to get you set up with this kit. Okay, so today's cards, we're going to be using, let me show you this set. This is the Cottage Wreaths Bundle, and it's a stamp set and a die set, and we're also gonna use this Coordinating Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. Look at all these different colors in the gingham. Here's a couple of um, the things for you to see that Stampin' Up! has made, some of their cards that they've already made in the catalog. These are the cards that we're gonna make today. We're gonna make a really fun Halloween card with the wreaths, um, a nice, fun, full thank you card. I've got a Christmas card thrown in there, also made with this beautiful wreath set. And then this is um, a kind of a thank you gift card holder. Your gift card can slide right in here into this pocket. So let's go ahead and get started on our cards for today. All right, so here is the stamp set 
up close and personal. You can see um, the different kinds of wreaths that they have, some little foliage. Um, there's some, you can see some Christmas things, some acorns and some nice little sentiments. This is really a large, a very large die cutting set. Look at all these different dies that are in here. Um, it just makes it really easy to cut everything out. I love in particular this bow that we're gonna use. It cuts out just the perfect bow, so I'm always gonna keep this set forever in case I ever need a beautiful bow or a nice wreath. So it's cottage wreaths dies. Now, <clears throat> these are actually on back order on Stampin' Up! until November 7th, okay? So I'm extending my take, make and take offer. You know, every week I usually will offer the pre-cut supplies for the cards that I make with an order of $35 or more um, at my um, website and I was going to have Saturday October 29th but the, since they're um, out of stock the dies until the 7th I'm going to extend it to 11 10 so you can still get this um, set of cards um, to make through 11 10 this is the host code to use Okay, so for the first card, I've also um, brought in the stylish shapes dies. This is something that I use pretty much almost every week. And I used it for the banners and also the large square cutout. All right, here are our pieces for this. I've already cut in advance. And this is how your card kit will come too. Everything will be pre-cut for you. So our card base, we are going to start with... The standard card base, this is basic black cardstock. It's eight and a half by five and a half. It's scored right down the middle at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of the Gingham Cottage DSP that I showed you, and that's five and a quarter by four. So we can start, and you can see the other side is really nice too. We can start just by adhering this down as our first layer of the card right in the middle. I think what we'll do next is we'll get some of our stamping going. Oh, hold on. Did you see what I did there? At the last minute, I kind of made it um, crooked. So let's let's reposition that. Don't like it crooked. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. We'll set that aside for now. So I have um, the three layers that we're going to put the wreath on, right? This is the basic black again. And this is, I think... Hold on, let me see how big this is. I don't think I put it on my sheet. I wanna say it's, okay, it's three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And the next step of the pumpkin pie is three by three. And then, like I said, this was the large um, square that we cut out from that um, set that I just showed you. So we're gonna start by stamping our wreath right on here. We're also gonna stamp a little sentiment from this little die cut right here. So let me get out my stamps. We're going to start with some pumpkin pie. Perfect Halloween color, of course. And we're going to start with the sticker stamp of the wreath. Let me see where I'm at. If you can see me, or if I'm stamping too low. And we're going to stamp this right in the middle. And isn't that pretty? You can see the different shades that it makes with just one ink color too. I love that when they do that with those stamps. So pretty. Okay, so our next layer we're gonna do in our Memento Black. So let me pull down my stamp pad. And then I'm gonna do the one that's kind of a branchy wreath right over that one. So let me get that all inked up. And we'll put this right over the top. And I think that makes just a really fun, pretty wreath for Halloween. Um, and then I'm gonna take the little stamp that says Boo and just stamp it right in the middle of this little die cut. Okay, I think we can do, oh, you know what I forgot to do? The spider, that makes it just one little bit creepier, right? So I just have a little scrap of basic white and I'm just going to stamp the spider and then we're gonna die cut the spider out. And then on the inside, I'm gonna take another little scrap of the DSP and put it on the inside of the card. So while I have my stamp out, I'm just gonna stamp a little spider kind of sideways on this DSP to put inside the card. Okay. Stamping is done. 
so we can start doing some layering. I'm gonna get my little um, cotton emboss machine and let's cut out our little spider. I'm using the mini cotton emboss machine because it's a very small die. So I've got that. I'm gonna position this and just hold it in place with just a little piece of post-it tape. So let me get it lined up correctly. And I think that looks good. I don't wanna cut it off any legs. And then I'll just put my top plate over and run that through my machine. So easy to cut out something so little, right? And um, you would have a really hard time cutting this with scissors, I think. So that's why I love all the little dies. And that's it, that's our little spider. Okay, let me set this aside and let's start doing some layering. So let's bring back our card base and I'm gonna start by putting the pumpkin pie layer on the black layer. And then we'll add the layer that we just stamped on top of that one. Move up a little so you can see it. in the middle like that. Now I'm gonna pop the spider up and I'm gonna use mini dimensional for that. And before I do that, I'm gonna have my spider coming down right about here. I'm just gonna take a black marker. You can use any kind of black marker. I'm using the Stampin' Right marker by Stampin' Up and the bullet tip because it's nice and thin. And I'm just gonna make a little squiggly line coming down for the spider to come down on. And then we'll peel the dimensional back off and put our spider right there. He's cute, I mean, for a spider, right? All right, let's pop this up with some dimensionals. So Halloween is just a couple days away now. Everybody ready for Halloween? Is anybody doing going to any fun Halloween parties this weekend? It's been a while since I've been to a fun, uh, to any, adult Halloween party. It's Halloween's always about the kids, right? Trick-or-treating, all that fun. We did some fun things at work this week too for Halloween, so that was super fun. We had like a headband day, a Halloween sock day, you know, different things, lots of fun. Okay, next I'm gonna take the bow and I'm gonna use a mini dimensional again. And see how pretty this bow is? I'm gonna show you up close. It, you, you even see the little bit of embossing on there and the little cuts. It just makes for a really pretty bow. I would imagine it would make for a really pretty Christmas bow too. You could do it in like sparkly paper, gold paper. You could do it in glitter paper. Make a really beautiful bow. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use two and put them on the sides because I think just putting one in the middle, you're gonna be able to see the dimensional because the knot of the bow is too small for even a mini dimensional. So let me just put a couple on the sides where they won't show. And we'll just kind of put that right off like that. Okay, next we're gonna layer up our sentiment onto some of these banners, okay? So I have this orange one cut out and so, I used a little piece, just to add just a little extra touch, I used a little piece of the black washi tape and just ran it right across like that. So if you get this card kit from me in the mail, I will already pre-place this um, piece of glitter washi tape on the orange for you um, so you have the glitter washi tape. If you don't like it and you don't wanna use it, that's fine, just peel it off because washi tape will peel off nice and easy and won't leave a mark or anything but I think it just adds a nice little bit of sparkle to it. Okay. All right, next I'm gonna add some adhesive and put this layer on a piece of black. And this black, let me look and see how big this black piece is. Uh-oh, hold on, I lost my ruler now. Pull out a different one. Okay, so 
This is about almost an inch and a quarter wide. And I'm just gonna center that right there so it has a nice border even on top and bottom. And then I'm just gonna use my scissors to trim it up so it's the same shape. See if I can do that somewhat straight and even. I'm gonna take just a tad bit more off of here. Okay, now we have another nice layer. I don't know why on this side I always go a little bit weird. Okay, let's add our boo right in the middle. And then we'll pop this up on our card. All right, a couple dimensionals will do the trick. A beautiful day here today. It's only 72 though, which is a little bit chilly for us, but I will not complain. It's gorgeous and sunny outside. I love it. All right, so on the inside, I've just taken a piece of basic white, and that's five and a quarter by four, and I'm just going to adhere it so you have something to write on on the inside of the card since the outside is um, black, right? So we'll just center this on the inside. And then that little piece of DSP that we stamped our spider on, we'll put across the bottom. Oops. Just like this. So that's the inside of our card. I'll finish like that. Okay, let's add a couple of embellishments. For this card, I'm using some of the matte black dots. And let me pull these out. We've got some big ones and some small ones. Uh, are there medium ones too? No, I think just big and small. So let's start with a big one. I'll put a little small one like right here. And I think I'll just add another small one right there. Okay, that is it. That is card number one. A nice little Halloween card made with our wreath dies and stamps. All right, let's go to the next card. <clears throat> I love fall. I don't know if y'all love fall. But it's one of my favorite seasons, and I love fall colors. They are like my absolute favorite colors. So this is the thank you card. We've done this fun fold lots of times before. Um, it's one of my favorites. So let me see. So for this card, I'm also bringing in the stitched rectangle dies that, again, we use a lot. And I've used one for the sentiment, and I've used a couple of the other sizes. Um, I also was looking for a thank you. Um, so I went to this peaceful moment stamp set and just pulled the thank you out of that. You could use any sentiment you want. You could make this a birthday card. You could make it a Thanksgiving card. Kind of see what sentiments you have. All right, so here are our pieces for this card. All right, so this is gonna be our card base right here. This is pumpkin pie card stock, and it's eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter like we always do, but then it's scored at two and an eighth also right there. And you just kind of accordion fold it back like that. So that's our card base. Then I have two layers. Now these are five and a quarter by four, and these are basic white card stock. And what I did was I ran them through the embossing, uh, cut and emboss machine with this beautiful, this is one of my favorite embossing folders. It's brick and mortar embossing folder. All I did was line it up on the line so it's nice and straight and ran it through my embossing machine. And it embosses this beautiful, beautiful brick print that I absolutely love. Okay, so I have two pieces of that. Now the one piece we're gonna put right here and glue down, the other piece we're gonna want for these other two pieces. So we're gonna cut this down. Like I said, this is five and a quarter by four, but I want each of the panels to be one and seven eighths. So I'm just gonna cut two one and seven eighths panels. I just found it easier to just cut the whole, you know, to emboss the whole sheet and then cut it down as opposed to embossing three times, which you could also do. All right, so I'm gonna take our seal and put that layer down on all our different areas. So this one here. one here. 
I'm looking forward to Halloween. I love the trick-or-treaters that come to the house. The kids are always so polite. They kind of go all out on their costumes. I love looking at the different costumes. It's just really fun answering the door like that on Halloween. Okay, that's our base layers. Okay, so for next layers, I think we'll do our stamping. So these are the other layers that I have for this card. And these two layers I've done in Cajun Craze cardstock. And this is four and a half by three and an eighth. And the other one is three and a quarter by two and three eighths. And those are kind of the background. Then I use the stitch rectangle dies, you can see, to cut out. Um, I have three stitched rectangles that I cut out for this card. So we're gonna do some stamping on um, all three of these layers. Okay. So I'm going to start this time with crushed curry for our wreath. We're going to do a couple different layers of this. So let me clean off my stamp that we just used. Because I don't want to get any orange in my yellow. Okay, so we'll start by inking up in crushed curry. And I'm going to put this towards the top very pretty I'm going to clean my stamp and before I get out the orange I'm also going to do a couple of the little branches in crushed curry on this piece right here so let me do that and then we can put the crushed curry away I'm going to do one like this and one right like that like that Okay, done with crushed curry. Now we're gonna get out the pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna do another layer of pumpkin pie over both of those things. So I'm gonna turn my stamp a little bit just so it's a little different and stamp right over. Now you have that nice color combination. And then let me clean the stamp that I used for these, just this little foliage branches. And I'm just going to add a layer of pumpkin pie on there. Isn't that pretty? Love those colors. Okay. So time to get out our soft suede. And we're going to do the branches in soft suede. stamp cleaner and this will go right over the top and again I'm just turning it a little bit so it's a little offset and that completes our nice pretty fall wreath and then we're going to take our sentiment the one that I picked that says thank you and I'm going to do that also in the soft suede and I think we'll be done with our stamping okay All right, assembly time. All right, so let's assemble on this piece first. And I have another piece of the pumpkin pie for this. And do I have written down what this, this is two and a half by one and a quarter. And we'll just put our sentiment that we just stamped with the stitched rectangle right on top of that. And we've got a nice orange border around our sentiment and we're going to pop that up okay isn't that pretty okay now let's attach this layer to the Cajun craze And then we'll take the other layer that we had and attach that to the other piece of Cajun Craze. And this will be inside for our sentiment. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right in the middle of the back part of this card. So if I'm looking at it like this, I'm just gonna center this right in the middle and then it'll be covered up when we put our next layer on. So that's the inside. 
This is going to go on the outside, also in the middle. So I only want to put adhesive on this side right here. And then center that in the middle when the card is closed. Okay. There we go. All right, let's add some embellishments to our card. I've got a couple little things. One is linen thread, and we're going to tie a double bow in the linen thread. Let me see how much I need here. That should be more than enough. All right. I don't want too big of a bow. Just tighten it up a little bit and trim off the ends. And then we'll just attach this with a glue dot to our wreath. Okay, so far the video looks like it's working okay. I haven't been dropped yet, so I'm excited about that. On this card, I'm gonna use another one of my favorites. And these are the Champagne Rhinestone. I think they're basic jewels, yes. And so we'll take some of these and put these randomly around. Let's see what sizes do we have. I've got a big one up here. So let's start with maybe a big one here. And maybe a one here. We'll do another big one maybe here. Here and a couple, maybe here. I'll do one more. Okay, making it sparkly. Okay, that's it. That's our second card complete. I hope y'all like it. I think it's a really pretty, nice thank you card. Or like I said, you could make it any kind of card you want, a birthday card, people who have fall birthdays, I think that'd be a nice card to get. All right, let's do a little Christmas. And so this one, I'm, I've brought in some red and green and gold. I've also brought in the scalloped contours dies that we use a lot. So we're gonna use this big um, die right here for the outline and then this die right here for the red. Here are our pieces for this card. Okay, same card base. This is garden green, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter. This next layer, I've cut out of gold cardstock with the die that I just showed you. So we're just gonna layer this on. I love adding gold to things at Christmas. A Little bit of sparkle. Oh my, what was that? One of my die sets fell right in the garbage. I have to rescue that immediately. Okay. The next layer, like I said, is scalloped contour die again. And this one I cut out in real red. So that's gonna be our next layer. And I have this piece of the um, the DSP, the Gingham Cottage DSP. This is four by two and five eighths. And that fits nice and perfectly right in the middle of there. So let's put that down. You can see the bigger print on the other side of this paper. So many things, so many seasons for this paper. It's really a nice, versatile paper. Okay. All right, next, our wreath. Now, this time we didn't stamp. This time I used the dies to cut out the wreaths. So I have a thick wreath die and a skinny wreath die, and I'm just gonna glue this one right in the middle of that one. So let me get a piece of scrap paper out so I don't make a mess. And get out my glue. Oops, I was using a lot of this glue this morning when I was working on some other projects. We're gonna have lots of fun upcoming projects with Christmas coming and anxious to get going on all the Christmas cards because I like to get all my Christmas cards done early. So I'm just gonna do some little dots of glue going all the way around just to kind of adhere the tree, the wreath. Um, and I'm gonna offset that a little so it's not right over where the other leaves are. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna use one of my blocks just to hold it in place so it starts to dry a little bit. Well, that's starting to dry. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna, 
<clears throat> just hold on a second. I'm just gonna let this dry, but I wanna do one more step and then fully let it dry. That's pretty good. And let's just glue it right down to where it's gonna go on this sheet. Because once this glue dries, I kinda wanna ruffle up the edges of the wreath a little, so I wanna give it enough time to dry. So that's gonna go towards the top of this one also. And then let me just put my block on to kinda hold it in place while it dries. Okay, now we're gonna do a little, we're gonna put our sentiment on this little scrap of green cardstock that I have. And I think this is just two by five eighths of an inch. And I'm gonna use the very little Merry Christmas, which is this one right here. And we're gonna gold emboss it so our sentiment matches all the other gold that we have. This looks crooked, so let me try and straighten this out a little, otherwise I know I'm gonna stamp it crooked on there too. Hold on. Sometimes I line it up on my grid and then pick it up. Might be a little bit better. Okay, so for our embossing, we're going to use Versamark. And right in the middle. Okay. Then I'm going to get some gold embossing powder out. everywhere. I'm just going to sprinkle it on and just kind of tap it off. All right. I see there's just a tiny bit. I'm just going to get out a brush and just brush off. any. there's like a little tiny bit Hold on. right here that I don't want to emboss on. So I'm just going to brush that off so it doesn't get in the way. And then I'm going to use my reverse tweezer to pick it up because it's so small I don't want to burn my fingers while I'm embossing. Okay. I'm embossing it from both sides. If you emboss it from the back, it's less likely to run on the front and you get maybe a more even melt on the front. So I like to do it from both sides. It helps keep the paper from warping in just one direction also. Okay, that didn't take long, and you can see how pretty that looks. Hopefully you can see that up front. And close. All right, I'm going to take scissors, and for this sentiment, I didn't use a die. I'm just going to cut on a diagonal, just like that. Okay, I'm going to attach that to a scrap of gold cardstock. And that's two and a quarter by seven eighths is the exact measurements of this piece of gold. And obviously it can be smaller than that because I am cutting off a little bit here. And I'm just gonna follow the outline so we have a gold border on the die. And that's ready for the sentiment. Okay, let's finish our assembly of the card now. I'm gonna pop this layer up onto the other layer. It looks like I just started a new thing of dimensionals. Let me put that one away and finish up my old one first. All right, now we'll put this right in the middle. I love the way these layer up perfectly. All right, dimensionals on the sentiments. And then all we're gonna do is embellish this card to finish it up. There's our sentiment right there. Hopefully that's pretty straight. We're gonna use some of that gold ribbon. And this is the gold shimmer ribbon. And we'll just tie a bow with the gold. I love how pretty this ribbon is. I know I always talk about that. But it just has a nice sheen to it. It's just a really pretty gold ribbon. Okay, that looks pretty good. And let's just trim that off. And 
and we'll use a glue dot to put the bow on. Same place, right on the side. Let me fluff that up just a little bit so it lays nice and neat. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Take Your Pick tool and just kind of fluff up some of these little, um, I don't know what you call them, leaves of the wreath. Just kind of fluff them up on the paper so they're not laying flat and just add a little dimension, make the wreath look a little bit nicer. There's lots of little layers once you get this laid down. So you can fluff it up pretty good. And I find this tool really helps a lot. You can use your fingernails too. You don't have to use the tool, but my nails, I don't know. And the glue's kind of holding it in place so we can lift it up. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, now let's add some of the red rhinestone basic jewels to this. And I'm just gonna put these in bunches of three all around the wreath. These come with a lot of um, a big package. They're all one size in this one. They're not um, different sizes. It's all one size of these. And the package comes with, this is a full package right here, you can see. And it comes with 220, that's a lot. So you can use a lot of them on your card. And we'll just go around. And I love how pretty it makes. Everything looks better with a little bit of sparkle, especially around the holidays, right? Did anybody start their Christmas shopping already? I've bought a few things, but I need to get serious. There was a time in my life when I would have all my Christmas shopping done by Thanksgiving, but that time is not now. I am not that organized in my life anymore. I think I was younger and had more energy back then. And probably more time too. Okay, that's our Christmas card. Our Christmas wreath card. I hope y'all like that. All right, last card we're gonna do, and I thought we'd do kind of a different color theme for this one, and this one is just a nice grateful card, and you can use the little pocket for a gift holder, or you don't have to do it that way either. You could just leave it and write your sentiment in the middle without putting a gift card in here. All right, so for this one, I've brought in the circle dies. You can see I have some of them out because I've been working on some other things, the layering circles dies. And here's our pieces for our fourth card right here. Okay, so this base, this is eight and a half by five and a half, but we've scored it at different places, right? So on this side, I scored it at two and three quarter, and on the other side, I scored it one and a half. Okay, and this is going to fold up like this. So this will be the top, the bottom here, and that's how that one's going to fold. Then I have some of that paper in the gray, and this is Smoky Slate, I believe is the exact color of it. And let's see, I've got, um, do I have the DSP measurements? Let me take a look. I'm not sure I wrote that right. I'm gonna have to go back and look. Okay, so let's measure. This is five and a quarter by two and a half, and then this is five and a quarter by one and a quarter. And let's go ahead and put that down. Oops. So this one will get centered right here on the top. Let me do it this way so I can see the seams a little bit better and make sure I get it centered like that. And then the bottom one right here. Okay, all right, let's start working on our wreath now. This one again, I did the same as before and I used the two die cuts to cut out the wreaths and I cut these out of Smoky Slate cardstock. So let us glue those in place just like before with the little dots. All right, 
and we'll let that sit for a second. So the next layer, I used the layering circle dies. I used the um, largest one for the scallop and then the one that goes behind it is just in basic white without the scallop. So let me attach those down. And I'll try and get that right in the center. Then we're just gonna glue our wreath right in the middle of these right here. Again with the glue just in the middle because we're going to try and brush some of those leaves up and we'll put this right in the middle of our circle and we will let that dry for a minute okay so on the inside I have um, let me take this gift card thing out of here I have a stitched rectangle that's going to go right here and I have die cut a couple of the little branch pieces out of the smoky slate. So I'm gonna use a little bit of glue to put those down. And again, just a couple little dots. And I'm just gonna put like one right like that and the other one right next to it. Right there looks good. Okay, we'll let that one dry too. Again, I have this very little die and we're gonna use the grateful to do that one. Um, and I'm gonna do that in basic gray stamp pad. See, it's very little. Let me see if I can get right in the middle here. Okay, it's about as good as I think I was gonna get it. All right, stamping is complete. I think this looks pretty good. And we're ready to do a little bit of assembly. So let's do the assembly on the inside first. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of seal and put down this rectangle. And I wanted to just peek out a little bit and kind of right in the middle. So right about like that. Okay. Now we're gonna use a couple of magnets to hold this shot. And I get these little magnets from Amazon. So I'm just gonna, they come in a little stack. I'm just gonna pull one off. And I'm going to put a little glue dot on it to hold it down. So I'm just gonna pick one off and put it on and then I'm going to put it on the other side right here where I want it to kind of um, attach here to hold the card shut okay now I'm going to take some liquid glue to kind of hold the sides shut right here and we will have that just like that okay so that's going to dry like that now I'm going to take the wreath circle and we're going to adhere it to the card right like this and again just on the top part and that's kind of centered in the middle then and you can see that looks good then we're going to put the other half of our magnet to hold the card shut so if you put it down it'll find the exact spot where it should be and then we can just take another glue dot and put a glue dot on it right here and press that down. Now we've got our magnet working nice and easy and it's just like the perfect strength to open and shut our card. Okay, so let's do some embellishing and then we'll be finished with the card. All right, I'm gonna take some dimensionals and pop up our grateful right in the middle and I think I'll use the minis again seems like the perfect size for this and then we're gonna tie a bow with the white um, it's like a shimmery white ribbon it's glittered organdy ribbon and this is in the white you guys know I use this one a lot too right it's very pretty 
and it has glitter. That's a bonus. Although I'm not succeeding at tying bows today. Hold on. Let me straighten that one out. Okay, that's better. And I want to get it. There we go. Not my best effort with the bow, but let me see if I can. It's just that one back piece is just a little bit twisted. Let me do a little wrestling, bow wrestling, and see if I can get that a little bit straightened out. I cannot. I'm starting over. I kind of messed that one up. So let me try to not twist it this time. It's hard. I feel like my nails are getting too long. So when I go next time, I'm going to have to have them shorten them up a little bit. It's hard to type too when they get this long. And hard to tie bows. All right. I think we got it this time. I'm just going to try and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, that's perfect. We'll trim off the ends, use a glue dot, and then we're gonna add some embellishments. All right, so to embellish this wreath, I used the iridescent pearls and they are so pretty. If you haven't used these before, you'll want to get these because the sheen on these pearls is just beautiful. It's so pretty. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but they are absolutely gorgeous. All right, so I'm just going to take some of these small ones and just kind of go around and just put them in the center. Just like that, all the way around. There's a, this one, in, this set includes a lot of pearls, so you can go ahead and use a lot of them. Now, if you order this, um, you know, if you place an order with me and you get this card kit for free, I'm going to include everything you need to make these cards. So you'll get some of these iridescent pearls in your packet. You'll get some of the red rhinestone basic jewels, the black matte dots, everything you need to make the cards. Okay, that is it. And I think that came out really good. And our magnet seems to be working just fine. And we can tuck this in here and pretend like it's a gift card. And that is our fourth card. So let's bring back everything that we just did for today. So we have the Halloween cards. We have the fall thank you cards. We did our Christmas cards and our gift card holder, all with our beautiful fall wreath bundle. Okay, I'm going to show you what I have coming up this Tuesday, but let me show you a couple things before we get to that. Um, if you would like the project and measurement uh, and supply sheet for this project, you can email me at sunshineandsparklestamping at gmail.com and I will be happy to send you the project sheet. I've been sending out a lot of project sheets lately um, and they'll have all the measurements on here. A reminder that um, before I see you next, because November 1st is going to be Tuesday, which is the next time I'll be live, this starter kit ends on Monday the 31st. So if you're interested in the starter kit, you get $155 worth of product for only $99, um, and it includes shipping. You just have to pay tax, and you can pick whatever products you want out of either catalog, hundred up to $155. Um, you'll also get catalogs in the mail, and you'll also get um, a, um, a paper pumpkin kit. It's not the current kit, but one of the past kits. They'll also send you that, so you can check that out. That'll be free in your kit. If you want information about that, message me, email me. I'll have, be happy to tell you that. And then paper pumpkin that we just talked about from the North Pole is the new kit that's going to be coming out this month. You have till November 10th to order this. And this one is all about tags, and you'll be able to make 12 tags, and you get all the things you normally get in a paper pumpkin kit. So you'll get the supplies you need, you'll get a stamp set, you'll get a little stamp and spot with the color looks like it's cherry cobbler for this month's kit. Um, last month, 
was also Christmas, and these were some of the cards made with the Paper Pumpkin kit. Really cute Christmas cards. So Paper Pumpkin is well worth getting. If you want any information, let me know. On Tuesday, these are this is the next set of cards that we're going to do. We're going to do fall one more week, and I have some really beautiful cards. I have a Thinking of You fall leaf card that we're going to do. A fall thank you card. Any of these could be Thanksgiving cards, too, with Thanksgiving coming up pretty soon. You could turn these into Thanksgiving cards. Sending many thanks fall card. And then we're bringing our little squirrel friend back um, for a little nuts about you um, gift bag where we have a little trail mix in there. So those are the projects for Tuesday. Um, it looks like everything went okay for this video, so I will upload it to YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and your week, and I'll see you all next Tuesday. All right, bye-bye for now.